That guy there, Roni, our resident quarter horse, is next up to meeting little Annie. Hello, little Annie. How's it going? Hmm. What have you got underneath your chin? It feels like a funny little bump. Hard to get to because your chin is so bony under there. Just feels like a little tiny bump. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to come out of the corner. So, on our ongoing quest to have little baby, one-year-old Annie. She's about one. I don't know exactly which day, but we're going to assume she's one. Um, meet everybody. She has met Luke. She has met Lena, Little Miss. Um, Mr. Wild. And uh, so now today is Roni. Macaroni is a nine-year-old quarter horse. Oh, he's calling out. Luke, Luke's excited. He, I think he knows something's going on. And uh, Roni's a real sweetie. I don't expect any any troubles or anything of the sort. Hi, baby. How's it going? Hi. So, um, I think that he's going to be a real nice guy. He's always really nice to the girls, uh, old and young. And Annie's become a bit of a love bug. She's really bonding well to the crowd here, becoming part of the herd really, really well. Both human and horse. I think I can hear them coming. Or is that Luke? That's Luke. So, uh, you know, as we continue to progress along, you know, we got one horse. We've had, uh, you know, Luke and Lena in at the same time. So she's had two horses. So we're going to give um, Roni a try here and we'll take it from there. We might, might put Luke in as well. Okay, you need to back up. Let's go back, 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 back. There we go. So I'm going to block because right behind me is the fantastic Roni. And uh, it's better if we can let them go while they're apart. It's a controlled meet and greet in a way. Safety. Annie, you got a nice deep little chuckle coming out of you. So I'll just sort of what I'm doing is I'm just going with her and then blocking a bit. Ronnie's over there. He looks like he's ready to. Say hello. You gotta leave him quiet. Yeah. He might be quite ready to go, so we'll see. There you go. All right. Oh, he's fast. He's moving in. He's strong. Wow, we eh? Ronnie's huge compared to her. Luke's making a little noise. That's it. That's fast. Well, you really approached nice though. I mean, strong, but still nice all the same. Annie, what do you think of Roni? You don't like him so much? Hmm. Incredibly uneventful. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wander over this way a bit, just in case being over here is a draw. I mean, she might draw over his way. She might do nothing. Come over to my stairs. <laughs> just Roni, what happened, man? What did she do you didn't like? I'm curious now. I'm gonna just stay on the edges so I don't influence things too much. Roni's not a kicker. I've like I've said, I've said it quite a few times, I've never seen Roni kick another horse. He exhibits a lot of intention. And I think he hopes that'll get him by. 
but I've never seen them kick out and yeah I don't think that these two are a big hit just yet we'll see what happens and he's very busy smelling he hasn't been in here in quite some time I actually don't recall the last time I had him in here probably close to a year ago I think and so he's going to want to sniff around a bit and check the place out. And he's licking the wall again. And he go do something interesting. I'm just patting my leg. Hi, can you go do something else? Go that way. There. <laughs> these walls are a little too dirty for these horses. They, love, they want them clean. Here he comes, Mr. Fancy Pants. Ronnie, if you kick her, I'll give you big trouble. You know that, right? He says, I don't understand English. No real impression on her, as tough as he pretends to be. He is a true sweetie, though. I hope nobody sees him as being too rough for her. I can hear Luke shuffling around behind me. Probably wondering what's going on. Hmm. That's good chi chat. All the same. Look at this guy. He's paying attention. He wants to know what's going on. Hmm. Well, let's go say hi to Rooney. Uneventful, almost boring. It's kind of ideal. Oh, he's leaving me. Why did he leave me? Where's he going? Hmm. <laughs> says I'm out. I don't want to be trapped in the corner with you. <laughs> Luke's stomping around so much. Ronnie's wondering what's going on. Figures there's trouble. Ronnie, what's Luke doing? Why is he stomping around so much? comes again. What's up man? You have to be patient. At least he's not as noisy as Ronnie was. So I'd say that these two are pretty nonchalant towards each other. Not caring too much. Pretty much on the exact opposite corners of the arena. So not the best buds but Neither do they have a problem with each other, so that's good. If you're wondering what Annie's doing, there's a little bit of water that sort of collects in these things right here. And uh, it's just condensation that it kind of comes in. It just, it just stays there for a really long time, too. Surprisingly. So, that might be it for these two.
Yeah. I might put Luke in. Let's see how she handles two boys. We'll go from there. But overall, I think this is fantastic. <laughs> Hello, little Annie. How's it going? Hmm. Makes me want to scratch the little thing off. This little scab or something up there. Oh okay. well that's it for this part. Maybe we'll get Luke. Okay, so we have decided that we're going to grab Luke. So now I really have to police this corner. Off you go. Off you go. Ah, oh, Roni's rolling. Good timing for a roll. Hey, don't chase her over here, please. Luke's in. Yep, all good. So I'm keeping my eye this way. And you guys get to keep your eyes this way because Luke's just being let in and let go in a second. Oh, he's over there. So we'll see what goes on. And I'd really like her to be part of a bigger herd. So once these two are kind of good, and we can maybe bring little miss in or Lena. All right, I'm going to go to my stairs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Luke's in protective mode. So, uh, pretty normal for Luke. Shh. Be nice, you little goof. There he is. Luke is always the protector. I don't know why. He's just a good boy. And then Roni gets sort of pushed out if he feels like he's going to be like that. It's good practice for everybody involved. And I'm here too. But Annie gets to get the idea of what goes on. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for Roni, to be honest. Like he's got no more friend left. Let's go say hi. Roni, you gotta be nice, man. Why don't you like little Annie? Hey, come here. Come here. Why don't you like Annie? She's a nice horse. Yeah, just like you. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to keep on adding horses to her skills. A repertoire of horses that she can hang out with. Go out of the corner, you guys. Do something else. I know. I'm trying to. I'm actually working on teaching Annie not to move when I pat my leg, but sometimes I want her to move. So I'm just going to hit a little harder. Let's keep a rhythm until she goes. And my energy, the, my attention of my body is that she should shuffle along. Got to have a little bit of interaction. It's good that Luke's defending. I don't mind that at all. Roni's listening, right? We've got a relationship that, that works. It's not worth it to Roni to continue in. I'm gonna come in and promote a little peace and quiet myself, saying, hey buddy, calm your mind, calm your mind. Little scritchy scratches maybe. Roni likes his butt scratch lately, so maybe we can have a little visit this way. You know. Just, uh, <laughs> I know, man. But she's a nice horse. Yeah. So, and now they're both investigating the stairs. It's 
it's interesting to watch the hierarchy, the positions that they put themselves in and get out of and all kinds of stuff like that. So I think, I think it's gone well. I think we're looking at a herd that will get along well enough. Luke's taken on his typical role. Um, happy with that. Roni is whatever's Roni going on in Roni's mind. That's fine. I almost want to add another horse, but I don't know. I'll let her goof around a little bit with these two. I think that's that'll be good. And uh, maybe call it a day after that. So if anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. If not, then this is the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, Annie, for clearing out all those holes. <laughs> Fresh rainwater. Well, condensation water at that. All right, that's it. We've, we've put the ball in. And Luke loves the ball. Um, so he came over to play with it. He might do it again if Annie comes over. He's still in protective mode. Oh, here we go. So there. Oh, I thought he was going to move it around a bit. He's got a sharp eye on Roni, so that uh, little Anne's nice and safe. Oh, here comes Roni. Move it in. Luke blocks, and she escapes. I don't know what Roni's issue is, but he's not the biggest fan of Annie. We've kind of concluded that he only likes big white butts <laughs> and that's it eh pal he did like really though he did really well with really so i guess he likes an appaloosa yeah bony butt <laughs> oh somebody hit a post somewhere who's that who banged the post was it roni i don't think it was roni i think it was one of those two but i was watching roni yeah nosing that whatever's that yeah some some went bong bong so anyways i thought they would play with the ball but i guess not i might have to kick it at them <laughs> just kidding we threw it in and annie annie really got worried so i'm not gonna do too much but at least it's in there <laughs> hmm Good, good herd behavior overall. <laughs> Luke, you got a lot of babysitting to do, buddy. The more she moves, it's got to keep a sharp eye on her. It's actually interesting to watch this big brother sort of possible attitude as she keeps trying to make her way around or doing something he's always in between being a good little protector here comes Ronnie again Luke says I'm game hmm. so I expect this to go on for a bit but not for too long Okay, well that'll be about it for sure on this one, and we'll see you guys in the next one.